Hey everybody, Joe here. Nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. First thing I want to do here in, well, this I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible. First thing I want to do is I want to apologize to you for any the background noise that you may be hearing on this audio. Uh, it is hotter than Hades around here today. It's already, it's a little around 1045 in the morning. And the humidity level has already got awful atrocious. I hate to see what the summer is going to be like. I think this is going to be a butt-kicking summer. So I've got the window open over here. I've got a fan going on in back over here, back behind my little uh, mural. So just trying to keep the air moving and trying to keep from turning into a puddle of grease around right now. You don't want to see what my armpits look like. Mm, not fun, Not pretty. All right. Get on subject, Joe. All right, here's what we're going to do. The reason why I'm shooting this video today is because as of today, I noticed when I went into my uh, YouTube account that my the channel ticker on my account, on my channel, has ticked over to 100. Yay. 100 subscribers. You don't want to know how happy I was when I saw that. I was like dancing on air. Then I went into my analytics. Mm. That's when I got a little bit of a rude awakening. Okay. I went to the section that shows all of the subscribers. And I'm going to show you a, a picture right here now of what it looks like. I've got a lot of stuff blurred out because it's all proprietary information and everything else. But what you're going to see here is a graph of all of my subscribers from the very beginning of my channel till like the 24th, which was yesterday, like three days ago. Um, yeah, I know it's three days behind, but that's the way YouTube is. It's three days behind. But you're going to look up there at the top, just above the graph, and you'll see it says 97 subscribers. Okay? Um, yeah. I think it's a little bit more than that. I've, the last three days, I've picked up a quite a few subscribers. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely very close to the 100 subscribers. Even though I have now officially taken out my own personal... Um, subscription to the channel and the reason for that was is that when I first opened this channel up I wanted to see how the subscriber count went and I wanted to see how it worked and everything else so I could get an idea of what I was looking at and see how, you know just I'm playing I was playing around with my thing and I never got around to taking it off well it is off now because it's not fair for me to have my name in the list of subscribers who are going to be potential winners for the Limo 2, which I have promised to raffle off when I hit 100 subscribers. Now, I also looked at the list of subscribers that I have in there as to who is subscribed. Um... I noticed that there are a lot of YouTube review, my fellow YouTube reviewers out there who are subscribed to my channel. Now, I'm subscribed to a lot of other reviewers' channels as well. We like to keep an eye and see what is going on and how other people are doing it and try to up our game a little bit and, you know, try and change things around, make things more interesting for you, the viewer. It's a standard practice. We're not padding numbers or anything like that. Uh, so what I did was, is I looked at that and I took and copied the names of all of the subscribers that I have there. I think I have like about 15 or 20 reviewers names listed on there. And in addition, I have a list on that list is a friend of mine who I've known for over 20 years. And I know a was never a smoker. B is not a vapor has never vaped and he just subscribed to my channel because he's my best friend so what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to change the rules on this drawing ever so slightly what we're going to do is this 
I'm going to flash here on the bottom of my screen an email address. It's my vaping place, all one word, at outlook.com. You heard right, Outlook, O U T L O O K dot com. Okay? That email address is the email address I'm going to use from now on anytime I have to do any kind of contests. Well, at least for the foreseeable future. I may change that if I ever put up a website or anything like that, the full domain or anything like that, I may change it. But for now, that's what I'm doing. So any of you people out there who are watching this video right now, who are subscribers to this channel and who want to get in on this drawing, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to send me an email to myvapingplace at outlook.com, okay? In the in the subject line, I want you to put your name, your full name. Well, the name that you subscribed to my channel as. So if you're uh, My Sexy Kitten or Vapes A Lot or whatever you're, whatever you're subscribed to my channel as, I want you to put that name in the subject line of the email okay and in the body of the text just put a plus one okay this way I'll know that you're I'll be able to look at that name check it against the list of my subscribers and because of the plus one in there I'll know that you're interested in being in the drawing okay makes it real easy also it makes the odds of winning a whole lot better because if the reviewers who are subscribed to my channel are not interested in getting in the game which they may or may not be I don't know they may not have a limo sitting in their stable and they might want it just for you know for shits and giggles if they do if you do send me that email to my vaping place at outlook.com with your um, your subscriber name in the subject line and a plus one in the body of the email. I will look at all of those uh, emails. I will check the names from each one of those emails against my channel subscriber list. When I get to 100, when I get to the 100 plus mark, I will stop accepting any more names for the contest okay I will check the names of all of those people who are interested in this tank against the list of my subscribers the names of those people those subscribers who are on both lists will be entered into random.org and I will draw the list uh, excuse me, I will draw the winner. This heat is really killing me. I will draw the winner from that list. Okay? So, please forgive me. I'm rambling on. I'm really a little bit on the tired side. This heat is really kicking my tail. And the air is not moving here at all. And I feel like I'm melting into a puddle in my seat here. So, that's the way I'm going to do it. Not only is it fair to those people out there who are not reviewers, who want the tank, it's also increases the chances of winning. So if we'll say out of the 100 people that are out there, I get 20 names that are on both lists of people who are interested, well, now you stand a 1 in 20 chance. If I only get 5 people who are interested... Now you got a one in five chance. If I've got 80 or 90 people who say that they are interested, well, you got a one in 90 chance. Your chances will never be less than one out of 100. Okay? So if there's still time to turn around and subscribe to my channel, okay, 
Uh, the analytics say I still have 97 uh, subscribers, so that's the number I'm going to go by. When my analytics say that I have 100 subscribers in there, irregardless of how many I've lost or how many I've gained, when it says subscribers 90, 100 instead of 97 on there, that's when I'm going to close this drawing. Okay, So you still have time. There's still a place in there, and it's actually probably more like 96 now that I've taken my name out of the, out of the running. So if you're interested in it, shoot me that email in the subject line, the name that you subscribed to my channel with in the body of the tech, uh, the email, plus one. Okay? Very simple. I will draw the name from that list, the the combined list on air I will then get back to you with a code by email to that email address that you sent me I will get back to you I will give you a code you will send me your mailing address including your zip code or postal code if you're outside of the United States with that winners code in there now, you'll have to forgive me. I'm new to running these types of contests. I can only go by what I've seen by other YouTube reviewers who have a whole hell of a lot more experience at this than I do. Okay, and I'm, I'm really going at this. This is really a first for me. So, please bear with me. It gets, it'll get better in time. I'm trying to keep this thing short. It's at 12 minutes now. So, I just want to get this out there so everybody knows what's happening. All right? I will talk to you guys later. Remember, go to CASA, sign up with CASA, sign up for local calls to action, call your local congressional representative, tell him or her that you want them to support H.R. 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment to the Agricultural Bill. Get in touch with your, both of your senators. Tell them that you want them to support H.R. 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. Do it. Send them emails. Make phone calls. Get in touch with them. Get active. Because if we don't start getting active about this, we're going to get run over by the FDA juggernaut. All right? Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.